Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nermi Nabit and today my topic is production of ethylene dichloride. So now we will look at the background of ethylene dichloride that what exactly ethylene dichloride is. So the background of the ethylene dichloride. Ethylene dichloride is a clear colorless oily liquid with a pleasing chloroform like sweet odor and taste. The chemical name for the ethylene dichloride is 1,2-dichloroethane and the molecular formula is being shown on your screen. The structure is, this is the structure for the ethylene dichloride. Ethylene dichloride is soluble in hydrocarbon solvents, miscible with other chlorinated solvents, and has a high solvency for fats, greases, and wax. However, it has a limited solubility for water. Now we will look at the method for the production of ethylene dichloride. Ethylene dichloride can be prepared by the two methods, direct chlorination of ethylene and chlorine, oxychlorination of ethylene and hydrogen chloride. So we will look at the first method, direct chlorination of ethylene and chlorine, the main reaction is ethylene reacts with chlorine to form ethylene dichloride. Catalyst is FeCl3 or ethylene dibromide. The undesired products that are formed are propylene dichloride and polychloroethanes. The reaction is exothermic, meaning that it will release energy. We can see that ethene is react with chlorine. So ethene has double bonds. So in order to break these double bonds, the energy is released and the high amount of energy is released. So this reaction is exothermic. Now we will look at the PFD for the production of ethylene dichloride. Ethylene and chlorine are mixed before sending to the reactor. First we send chlorine and then ethylene, and then they are reacted here, and then they are sent to the reactor. And the reactor operating conditions, the temperature is 50 Celsius of this reactor, and the pressure is 1.5 to 2 atms of this reactor. As I have told you earlier that this reaction is exothermic, so we are using a cooling jacket to maintain the temperature of the reactor. To facilitate better conversion, circulating reactor designs are used. So as you can see that here is the recycle. The main reason of this is to dilute the main product and to maintain the temperature. FeCl3 traces are also added to serve as catalyst. Now the catalyst is added. Now our product contains so many materials. One is our main product and other are that should be recycled back. So they are sent to the refrigeration for partially refrigerate, refrigerating and then they are partially condensed and the off gases that are produced are hydrogen methane ethane ethane so now we will move to our next step some are sent back for the recycle and some are sent back for the wash the vapor product is sent, uh, sent to the refrigeration unit for further cooling. This will extract ethylene dichloride to liquid phase. This is the most important step. Now we will cool it and then ethylene dichloride is extracted from to liquid phase. The vapor phase removed from the product. Now the liquid product is crude ethylene dichloride with the traces of HCl. Now we have ethylene dichloride according to the this statement that ethylene dichloride to liquid phase. And according to this, the liquid product is crude ethylene dichloride with the traces of HCl. So it contains the traces of HCl. Now it will be sent for the wash in the wash tank. This wash tank contains NaOH, so HCl will mix with NaOH and then it will be neutralized in this acid tank, wash tank reactor. Now this wash must be removed. So in this tank, the wash is being removed and the material that is left behind is ethylene dichloride. 
this ethylene dichloride will have many impurities so now it's a send to a separation tank or we could call it a distillation unit then the top product is separated is ethylene dichloride and the impurities are separated as the bottom product the off gases that are hydrogen methane ethane and ethene these gases are separated as purge gases or fuel gases now we will look at the oxychlorination of ethylene and hydrogen chloride in oxychlorination process ethylene reacts with anhydrous hcl in either air or pure oxygen in heterogeneous catalytic reaction to form ethylene dichloride and the water so the main reaction is ethene reacts with hcl ethylene chloride ethylene dichloride plus oxygen and water oxygen and water are the side products so there are two techniques one is oxygen technique and other is air technique now we will look at the oxygen technique ethylene is generally fed in somewhat larger excess or the stoichiometric requirement than in the air based process the reactor effluent is cooled purified from the traces of unconverted hcl separated from ethylene dichloride and water by condensation recompressed to the reactor and let pressure reheated and ultimately recycled back this permit lower ethylene conversion per pass through the reactor with an increase in overall ethylene yield this is the pft for the oxygen technique now we will look at the air technique this is the pft for the air technique Downstream product recovery involves cooling the reactor effluent by either direct quench or with the heat exchanger and condensing the ethylene dichloride and water, which are then covered in the decenter. The remaining gases still contain one to five percent ethylene dichloride by volume, and therefore are usually further processed in a secondary recovery system involving either solvent adsorption or a refrigeration condensation. If ethylene conversion is high, the dilute ethylene remained in the vent is generally incinerated. But if conversion is low enough to justify it. various schemes may be first be used to recover the unconverted ethylene usually by direct chlorination thank you for seeing my presentation